Hey, what's up? It's me, Jessica Jane. I was just wondering if you've ever sat and thought to yourself, Jessica, what are some harsh truths that men learn about women too late? Well, if so, I'm glad you asked because this is stuff I hear from my clients all the time when it comes to getting women they actually want. I'm not talking about settling for the women that gave you signs first because no one else is around. I'm talking about you see a woman you want and you go after her. And if you know that you're not yet in a place where you feel that confident and you feel that excited to go after only women that you would never imagine you'd be able to even talk to in your entire life. Book your call with me right now and let's talk about whether or not coaching with me is a good fit to get you who and what you want once and for all because I promise it's never too late. And make sure you never miss out on another opportunity to hear all these harsh truths or another one of my videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button with that notification bell. Okay, so like I said, I have clients of every age range, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s coming to me talking about they wish they knew this stuff sooner, the stuff I'm about to tell you. Yeah, I have 20 year olds who are like, I wish I knew this in high school. Like, shut the fuck up, you're still so young. And my 30 year olds who wish they knew this stuff in college. What I'm telling you guys right now, it's never too late. And every single client that does come to me is so fucking fortunate that they finally found this stuff out and did something about it. Now, without further ado, the first harsh truth about women that y'all learn too late is that we women actually will fall for just about anyone. With the caveat that anyone we get to know. So I did an episode of The Naked Truth where me and a bunch of the girls here at Jessica J Dating jump on and basically discuss what it's like to be on the receiving end, both literally and metaphorically, of y'all men. And the episode in question was what truly attracts us to men, what gets us super hooked on and addicted to men that most men wouldn't think. And all the women across the board talked about meeting these guys that were either overweight or extremely underweight and shorter than us and unattractive and not making that much money. Across the board, we had all these awful qualities that our men had that we were addicted to. And the common theme across everybody's addiction was we got to know this guy. We met him in a super innocent way, whether it was like through friends or through work. They never hit on us. They weren't attractive, but we got to know them. Because with us women, I think Idris Elba said this, men fall in love with what they see. Women fall in love with what they hear. That's why women wear makeup and men lie. Because if we get to know you, we feel connected to you. And we women, we chase our feelings. And we don't get feelings for nice cars or a lot of money. It might pique our interest. It might catch our attention at first, but it's not what makes us fall for you. And if you're using your things in effort to get us to fall for you, we'll just fall for those things. And plenty of men have those things. Those things are interchangeable. You are not though. And that's exactly what we teach in my 90 day coaching program is how to be yourself as fast as fucking possible within seconds of opening your mouth so that women feel that instant connection with you. And if you know that you want to have this effect on women, book your call with me right now. Let's talk about making it happen in my 90 day coaching program, jessicajdating.com slash book. The second one is we actually love and want sex as much as you guys do. I can't tell you how like fucking horny I get just by looking at my man sometimes. And I want it all the time. Ideally, I would like to have sex once a day. And all my girlfriends, sometimes all we do is talk about sex when we get together and talk about how bad we want it. I have so many girls ending up with dudes just because they want to get laid. You guys really underestimate the fact that in this generation, we women are feeling so much more okay to want it. We always wanted it. Across the board, we always wanted it. We just don't want it with just anyone. <laughs> but when we like you, when we feel a connection to you and you're making us laugh, we want to fuck you too. So mark my words, when you are able to create that connection and you are able to engage back and forth and we have fun together, we'll want to fuck. Which then brings me to the third one, which is we are desperate for you to make a move. I'll say right now that 90%, maybe 99% of my girlfriends do not make the move. And I think it might be an American thing where we just have been conditioned to think that that's what men are supposed to do. And that's what men want is a woman who sits and waits and is like demure and like ladylike and not putting her hand on your D and shit. Because the 1% of my girlfriends that make moves, they're actually not from this country. So maybe it is an American. American thing. But I'm telling you right now, we want you to make that move again. We want it just as bad as you do. When we like you, when we have a good enough conversation with you, we'll want to have sex with you. Sometimes I have an okay enough conversation with dudes and I'm like, I wonder what it'd be like to fuck him. Too many of you complain about being friend zone, but I'm telling you right now, if you even got into a friend zone, we were waiting for you to move things forward. And eventually we gave up on you and thought you just wanted to be friends. So make 
that move, buddy. Unless you kiss her, you haven't made a move. I've had clients end up butt naked in bed giving massages to girls and nothing more happened because they didn't just kiss her. And that's what us women want. That's the romance, that's the fairy tale when you take us in your arms and you just like smooch us, my God. And you finger blast us, we all want it. Number four is it actually doesn't take much to impress us. Going back to uh, that episode of The Naked Truth with me and all my girls, again, a lot of us were, were dating some like broke, bald, overweight dudes. But we just felt something. We felt like he cared enough. We felt like he listened enough. He remembered shit about us. If you only gave us those three things, my God, we'll fall for you. But money, cars, power, that shit, again, that's not what does it. That's not what impresses us. Sure, it might make an impression at first, but you don't want her falling for your things. Things are everywhere. You're not. And the second you get us falling for you is a second none of that shit will even matter which then brings me to the fifth one which is the things you think we want are not the things we want so i've been doing my live stream series for the past 90 days and i always like to ask guys what they think turns women on what they think gets us hooked and it's always along the lines of he's a powerful guy he's assertive he makes a lot of money but it's it's not that it's not that at all we genuinely look for quality over quantity like y'all think we we all want a big D. Eh, it could help if that's her thing. But also, we, we fuck little dicks too. We fuck all sorts of dicks, all sorts of economic statuses and <laughs> looks. I'm 4'11 and I just saw that today it's somebody's birthday. This guy that I used to pine over when I first moved to LA. I'm 4'11. I think he might be 5'2. He's skinnier than me. I'm 105 pounds. 107. He actually had um, an extremely large nose that was like very crooked. I think he broke it so it had the, this weird indent. I mean, he made as much money as me. We lived in the same building. There was nothing attractive about this man, according to men. But you bet your ass, I was definitely, whoo, yeah. And number six, and this is something my clients constantly say by the end of my program, it's actually a lot easier to get us into you than you think. Again, going back to number one, we'll fall for just about anybody we get to know. If you are somebody who is capable of being himself at all times, if you're somebody that can engage with women with an air of openness and curiosity, we'll fucking want you. It really doesn't take much. A lot of you guys think that women these days have these high fucking standards because they're so fucking self-absorbed and shit and they make too much money now. No, we women genuinely don't want much. There was this reel I saw on Instagram about this guy who was like, I can't believe how like easy it is to make my wife happy. All I did was put the dishes away and she started crying. I was like, oh my God, you love me so much. I'm telling you right now, if you ask me how my day is and you tell me how your day is and then you say you're happy to see me, I'm getting wet right now over this hypothetical conversation. It is so much easier than you think. If we get to know you and you want to get to know us and you let us know that you want us fuck that's all it takes that's exactly what we train all our clients to do in my 90 day coaching program so if you know that your interactions with women right now aren't getting them hooked aren't getting them hanging on your every word and aren't getting them trying to prove themselves to you let's make it happen it's not too late to turn things around for yourself it's not too late to actually get women you want a lot of you guys are really good with women you're not that attracted to but fuck that let's get the women that you are 100% absolutely into and attracted to and that your friends will be surprised you even approached or dated. JessicaJDane.com slash book. Don't be victim to these six things because I promise you right now that you can make a change right now. Thanks for watching as always guys and I'll see you next time.